In the 10th National Assembly, it has been observed that 24 senators did not introduce any bills within the span of one year. It has been almost a year since their inauguration, and up to 24 out of the 109 senators representing various regions have not introduced any bill in the upper chamber of the National Assembly. Conversely, each of the remaining 85 senators has sponsored at least one bill. The 10th Senate, starting from its inauguration on June 13, 2023, marked its one-year milestone on Thursday. An assessment of the efforts of the 109 senators in terms of introducing bills indicates that a total of 279 bills were put forward between July 13, 2023 and March 2024. Of the 13 ex-governors, 9 actively proposed bills during the specified time frame. The individuals with the corresponding number of bills are as follows. Oji Uzo Kalu, 5 bills. Senate President Godswill Akpabio, 2 bills. Senator Benga Daniel, 4 bills. Senator Danguambo, 3 bills. Aminu Tambowal, 1 bill. Sani Belo, 3 bills. Danjuma Goje, 2 bills. Wamako, 2 bills. Adamu Aliero, 1 bill. During this period under review, Senators Adam Soshomole, Henry Seriake Dixon, Simon Lalong, and Abdulaziz Yari, all former governors, have not yet introduced any bills. Before his departure, Senator Umai sponsored one bill, while Senator Giyadam did not sponsor any bills during his time in the Senate. The 24 senators, excluding the four former governors who have not yet sponsored any bills, include Ahmad Lawan, APC Yobe North, Victor Ume, Labour Party, Anambra Central, Oluwole Fasuyi Siril, APC Ekiti North, Titus Tatinga Zam, APC Bune Northwest, Peter Ajia, PDP Ninja South, Adegbomire Adeni Yayodele, APC Ondo Central. Oyewu Mika Morudin Olalere, PDP Oshun West, Anthony Ani, APC Ebony South, Ima Seun Neda Benards, Labour Party Edo South, Okechuku Asia, Labour Party Enugu North, Chuku Chizoba, Labour Party Enugu East, Abdul Nigi, PDP Bauchi Central, Kabi Mustafa, PDP Ga Southwest, Kaila Samaila Daua, PDP Bauchi North, Rufai Anga, NMPP Kano Central, Abdulaziz Yaradua, APC Katsina Central, Mohamed Antuse Muntari, APC Katsina South, Enyinaya Abari Bay, Abga Abia South, Pam Dan Chugyang, ADP Plateau North, Moyesu Olwell Yacho, PDP Rivers East, Ibrahim Lamido, APC Shokoto East, Manu Aruna, PDP Taraba Central, Musa Mustafa, APC Yube East, Senator Kweyemi Bamidele, APC Ekiti Central, holds the record for the highest number of bills, totaling 23, most of which originate from the executive arm of government. Following closely behind are Deputy Senate President Barao Jibrin, APC Kano North, with 17 bills, Sani Musa, APC Ninja East, with 8 bills, Olamile Konadiola, APC Ogun West, with 7 bills, Patrick Undubueze, APC Imo North, with 7 bills, Saliu Mustafa, APC Kwara Central, with 7 bills, Sunday Karimi APC Kogi West with 6 bills, Ade Tokumbo Abiru APC Lagos East with 6 bills, Senator Tony Nwoye Labour Party Anambra North 6 bills, Kaka Shew Lawan APC Borno Central 6 bills, Senate Minority Leader Abba Moro PDP Benue South 5 bills, Suleiman Sadiq APC Kwara North 5 bills, Jimo Ibrahim APC Ondo South 5 bills, Hussein Babangida Uba APC Jigawa North West 5 bills, Asukwe Penyong, APC Cross River South, 5 bills. Abbas Aminu Iya, PDP Adamawa Central, 5 bills. As the 10th National Assembly reaches its one year milestone, scrutiny intensifies over the legislative efforts of its members, with 24 senators here to sponsor a single bill. Questions arise about their effectiveness and commitment to their constituents. Among them are notable figures, raising eyebrows and prompting speculations. What lies behind this lack of legislative actions? Are there underlying reasons, or is it a matter of priorities? The actions of these senators beg the question, who do these senators truly represent?